One second, guys. I wasn't. Like, oh, I wasn't born right ready. Now. I'm ready now, but I wasn't born ready. Okay, let's try now. Previously on Lost in the Pages, a Delta Green live play. Stretch is in, boys. Get ready to RP. Hell yeah. Don't want to pull a fucking hammy while I'm RP. <laughs> I'm gonna stretch them, uh. Never mind. Let's continue. Stretch my wiener. Yep. Exactly. Is that what I hear, man? Is that where it is? Yeah, it's, my, it's what I call my hammer. I sure you down the hammy. Time to lay the hammer down. The agents regroup at Maverick's safe house, utilizing the conveniently found charger for the digital recorder. As they engage in rest or delve into research, unsettling dreams and visions assail them. Um, Sophie, as you're sleeping, you have a very vivid dream of this, this mirror in front of you, and you see the yellow sign. Go and watch it, it. And it starts to ripple, and then it kind of pulls apart and you can see through it and it appears to be this black inky water uh, but it's you, know, you can still see through it and beyond it you see these little motes of light off in the distance and you can see people just swimming through it towards those motes of light in different directions uh. Murdoch you, you have a, a dream that you're running through the halls of a large palace, it appears to be. Large columns and marble stone floors. And you notice that every person you run past is wearing these elaborate masquerade outfits and you're, you're searching for something. You can feel that this is, wherever this is, is where you're supposed to be. And you're looking for someone, you're, rushing through crowds of people just ripping on the side you're in this grand ballroom now and you see some brown hair flowing down a blue dress and these ears sticking above it but you see the back side of the person and right as you grab them and start to rip them around you wake up maverick's security feed reveals cloaked figures with masks and a face familiar from the night world heightening the tension and in the middle of the night there's just this weird mask in front of the camera for split second and then there's a polygonal clown kid i don't know and it disappeared no. out of nowhere no i think that clown is what killed Vinny. yeah the clowns is bad last we saw the clown had Vinny. Oh, well they the know we're here I remember i know you guys are here it's coming it. for it's us too good. that thing's been haunting my dreams for 20 fucking years Anj calls her secretary Barbara to let her know she will be taking a brief vacation. Something is off with her. Uh, yeah, I can do that, Miss uh, Romano. Um, is there anything else you'd like me to do? No, uh, how are the kids? Um, just there's a long pause. Jason's good and so is Tanya. In the background you hear someone go, Jason. Okay. You heard someone giving her lines, bro. Meanwhile, Medea begins cooking breakfast for ungrateful guests. I'm waiting for you to cook <laughs> for me, too. I'm just like, I'll have some. Just standing there with the coffee, watching as you cook. Yeah. I assume she's going to cook for me, too. I, I yeah, she's cooking for us all. <laughs> she's and then I, yeah, then I walk her over with coffee in my hand. I'm like, what are you cooking? <laughs> the agents decide to listen to the recorder unraveling a chilling revelation. Esther Samagina exposed her family to the king in Yellow's influence. Henry, her son, killed his father, creating another version of the king in Yellow, the Phantom Saith. Shortly after Jack Parker hears an ominous TV ad and a breaking news report, Murdoch, Medea, and Vertas are wanted by the police for murder and escape from the Dorchester house. So what did you guys do? Good. Oh my God, you guys are murderers? Well, <laughs> it was mostly monkey. Yeah, but I'm not gonna lie, it was basically Vinny who killed somebody in there. Well, he well, wasn't showing. He wasn't showing on the wanted list. I thought we only killed people in the dream world. When we went into that place, 
We went into some other realm with Vinny, and Vinny never came out. He's the only person I had left. Am I able so to trust you, you guys? You were arguing list. a lot. Can you even trust reality, Maverick? Can you even trust that anything is real? The satellite phone, long forgotten, begins to ring then shatters in Sophie's hands, revealing unnatural internals. Do you, do you see this? You have this pile of dirt in your hand from the broken phone and you start pushing it towards people and they're just like, why are you pushing this dirt at me? And then they see the stick with this little golden bug walking around on it. What the fuck? I've seen those before. That's not a phone. <laughs> I don't. I'm gonna try to whack the stick out of her hand and stomp on the bug if it's on the ground. Bam! Smack it out of her hand. Dirt flies everywhere. What the hell? What's your problem, Damn man? Damn it, guys. <laughs> Fucking that That's one of the Yellow King's little bugs. Successfully delivering the voice recorder to the Boston PD, they receive Mr. Wilde's next instructions. Time for my request. Gain access to the encrypted military laptop of Captain... Hamilton Chester, C. Hamilton Chester, U.S. Air Force Station in Boston. Decrypt it and write down the third letter of the name of every file on the desktop without being discovered. Maverick recounts a peculiar incident while waiting for Ange. I love her. She's in that thing I watch. Her? What are you talking dumb about? I love her. She's in that dumbass show I love. She's not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wearing a mask with the crown. No, it's that lady from that stupid show that everyone likes that I hate, but I love That's it. That's my favorite show. See? Oh, I love that show. But I don't well, think it's stupid. Well, what do you think it is? <laughs> there's a picture of a guy with a mask and a crown. In the bottom corner, it's got my name. And there's a bubble coming out that says, it's good to be king. The agents, curious about the Samajina mirrors, witness a police-covered debris site devoid of any remnants. Henry grapples with haunting visions of marionettes, adding another layer to his enigmatic experiences. You see marionettes off in the distance, and then you just see them randomly start floating up into the sky and disappearing. Yeah. Angelina contacts Sam, a PI affiliated with the elusive G, seeking assistance to infiltrate an Air Force base. G presents another offer met with Ange's refusal, yet Medea, eager for answers, pursues the price. Hold on, I'm gonna put the phone against my chest. Do we want his help? He said it's gonna be easier. Yes. I mean, what are our options? <laughs> we don't have any other ones. Exactly. Well, at this point, it's apparently it's easier or harder. It's kind of what I've got. We, we want the easier way, I think. Yeah, we'll go with you, I think. I vote that we don't make deals with traitors or terrorists. Are you a terrorist? <laughs> no, don't let me ask. Figure of speech. I'm with you. No, I'm not a terrorist. Come on. He said he's not a terrorist, Ange. Ange said you were a terrorist. <laughs> oh, I'm going away from Sophie. Wow. Who gave her so much for her? <laughs> does so wait. much for her. She's going to talk about me like that. I... Tell me. I don't know. You, you seem that. like a nice guy. <laughs> if it was my choice, I wouldn't help her, but uh, who, who am I talking to? Uh, I thought I was talking to Ange. No. Here we go. <laughs> I gave the phone back to Ange. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> uh, hello? Unable to head to the Air Force base that day, the group shifts focus to Hotel Broad Alban and the elusive J.C. Linz, a vanished bank robber with no record of death. Towards the day's end, Murdoch receives a cryptic piece of junk mail, a video file depicting bizarre events within his daughter's residence or apartment, deepening the tendrils of intrigue. Five seconds pass, and a dozen small dark figures enter from off camera. They don't come through the door, they just come from somewhere in the room you can't see. At the 5.11 mark, they come back in and pull everything out of the room. It becomes totally empty there as they pull all the furniture again, as if they're like rearranging it, they pull everything out. And then you see the lights go off and you hear a boom as a big gong sounds, followed by just this droning drum beat. And it continues along, you get to eight minutes and you see a tall figure dressed in gold it crosses into the room left to right and it just like slowly saunters through 
uh, just this tattered robe figure. It seems very strange and familiar to you. As it stops and it turns and it looks at the camera, it's got this mask on with these rectangular teeth, just black eye slits. And it just turns and looks at the camera for a while and stares like directly at you. Then it moves forward towards the camera, but the camera's up in the air lens and then it disappears behind the camera as it goes off screen. Uh, you still just hear doom, 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 doom. A moment later, you hear a couple loud thumps as several new figures rush into view uh, from the left. The video then stops, showing a momentary brown blur as the feed stutters. The, the figures that came into frame after the cloaked figure appear to be holding shotguns and wearing gas masks. What is real in the agent's world anymore? Is Mr. Wilde toying with them or leading them towards a true goal? Will they successfully infiltrate the Air Force captain's home? Will they continue their search for Hotel Broadalbin and the enigmatic writer? Find out now. Why did he lick his face? He liked it. Oh. So then he butt fucked him. <laughs> oh, he butt fucked him? <laughs> what do you, what's saying? I, yeah, I go back to the phone. I'm like, you ain't butt fucked? <laughs> Just kidding. Go say can, can I touch your feet? Woo. Now recording. Can I touch your feet? <laughs> Can I touch your feet? <laughs> Not until after Delta Green. We got a Delta Green. All right, you guys, we're still at the safe house. It's nighttime ish. You guys were going to go to the Air Force Base, but you found out that it's mostly uninhabited between like 8 and 3.30. And it was almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon when you got that information. And then you guys decided to research Hotel Broad Albin and go check out uh, Esther's house and see if there were any mirrors remaining there. There were not. Hmm. Well, now what, boys? Well, we gotta break into a military man's military house. We gotta lay the law down. Sounds like our only option. Yep. So I say we get we get into a heist planning montage, and we go do a heist. <laughs> I'm thinking walking on sunshine. <laughs> walking on sunshine. Don't feel feel good. Good. So okay. we we know he we know he's gonna be gone during the day. What can we do tonight while we wait? We sleep. Just sleep, alright. I don't know what else to do. We don't need any leads, do we? I don't know. I don't remember. <sighs> I feel like this guy's. I feel like once we do this, it's just going to be something even harder and more crazy. What was the note someone got that was like right down the first letter of this and that? Is that what we're doing right now? Yeah, yeah, I can pop that up for you. That's what we're planning. That's the heist. <sighs> what was the letter I wasn't supposed to read? Weird name of every file on the desktop. Weird. Um, you have a letter that's just wrote to to Manny. It says Manny Romano on it. <laughs> Can I read it? No. 
Yeah. You can't. You can't read. That's. Oh my oh. god! It's a dream. Your brother never taught you how to read, or your dad, or whatever, whatever he was to you. There's an episode of Batman that said he can't read in dreams, and I'm just running with that as complete. complete. <laughs> <laughs> Are you reading it? Do you want to read it? Yeah. Um, What's it say, Miss God guy? I'm not afraid of... I'm not afraid of uh, some writing saying I can't read something. What am I? Superstitious bullshit. I'm going to start ripping open this letter. Books is bad. Don't read. You open it up and rip it apart. Open it up and it says... It's not your cue yet, hyphen Ange, in red marker. Sanity check. Sanity check. Really? No. Oh. I mean, <laughs> that's really what the note says, but how does she okay. react to it? It might require a sanity check. Um, I'm going to just kind of like flip it over and look for more. What, this is it? not my uh, turn yet there's nothing else <laughs> of note on it it's on a it's on a piece of stationery it was wrote on the back side but the front side it says hotel broad alvin as if it was like a letterhead from there would you what get you guys, what do you guys know about this hotel summarize it what you read Ange said that I'm not ready for my role or whatever, right? It's not your cue yet. It's not my cue. Oh, I think I was told that once 20-some years ago. <laughs> hmm. Oh, cool. Well, what happened? What the hell how does that did, mean? How yeah. did they leave that note for you? How did they know you were going to open it? Because some part of the they told me not to open it, was the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Classic reverse psychology. I that. <laughs> you walked right into that one. I I I figured, figured, but since we didn't have any other clues, and it's worth a shot, but it kind of didn't help. Is I can't Wilde? believe you didn't listen. Was it Mr. Wilde who told you not to read it? Yeah, who'd you piss off? The G. That's him. We're all G's here. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I meant like, <laughs> in another way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, just try not to fucking. Yeah, try not to fuck up anymore. anymore. Last time we ignored him, I think something terrible happened. So, what happened, Angus? We made a deal with that dude in order to get out of Dorchester. She doesn't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's too late, already told her. And I think your brother never got out of there. Because of the one whoever he made a deal with didn't hold up his end of the bargain, no. That's actually a kind I of... I don't regret reading the letter. Hey, you know what? That's, That's actually, actually not maybe... a bad point. Maybe we can get him out of technicality. Got this fucking... Look how many gray hairs I have. Oh my god. <laughs> Murdoch, you're like 85 years old. It's gonna happen. <laughs> we gotta focus. We're old right now. <laughs> oh, this is Murdoch. 55? 300? You got a double ARP? He's like 63, I think. Double 65. 61. 61. There we go. So, he forgets how old he is. A little bit is. past his prime, but he's still pretty agile for being 61. <sighs> My stats haven't decreased with age, which is pretty sweet. That'd be kind of funny if they did. Keeping it tight. I would assume he could probably reasonably make that a mechanic in the game. I don't know if it is one that exists, but I would guess once he hit like 70 or so, he should probably start losing strength and things like that. Maybe... 
Yeah. Do something, but whatever. You guys aren't there yet. You're still just rock solid, Gabe. You got a six pack. Yeah, let's go. Like a wrinkly one, you know, like the saggy like, wrinkly one. It's got that old flabby skin hanging yeah. off the muscle. Yeah. Like one of those sixty-one year old YouTubers. He's unnaturally ripped. Yeah. All right. Anywho, like the Liver King. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> he was probably in his like fifties, but still. I feel better in my sixties than I did in my forties. Yeah. Turns out I'm on drugs. <laughs> um, yeah. Vertas, or who asked the question initially? It was Wasn't it? Wasn't it a ridiculous? Was he spending like eight thousand dollars or like ten thousand dollars a month on steroids, steroids or something? Yeah. 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 Something ridiculous. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. So I guess we just gotta stake out this dude's house, figure out when he's gone. We already know when he's gone. That was our secret intel, was that like he's from like gone during 7 the day. 7.30 to 3.30 or some crap. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, okay. The house would be empty, and then the laptop would be there. So we just got, I think we just got to sneak in, sneak out. Does anyone have computer skills? And not you? burn anything down. <laughs> I have a um, two now. <laughs> I don't think I do. I ain't never That's... done use one of them. Not a one of you guys has computer skills. Oh, I have two now. I have military That's science. That's not ideal. That's pretty close. Why didn't Tony make his person a computer nerd? I have bureaucracy. I have heavy machinery. I can call someone and ask them to do it for me. We need to use heavy machinery at all? <laughs> uh, you could That's use heavy machinery to break it. There we go. Run it, run it over with a bulldozer. Well, that's something. It'll be like that Zoolander scene. There I could persuade it. <laughs> or I could just use my... Rose, my computer science skills carbine 20%. with holographic You have 20% science. computer science? Yeah. What? I got two. Like with well, thank God someone does. I assumed you didn't have any. That was an assumption. I looked at everyone else's. I just figured you didn't. Huh. <laughs> Mine's up to two. Rude. Failing their yeah, role. Yeah, you guys all worried. I figured it made a little sense since he was an FBI art dude. He probably did computer stuff. Yeah, that oh, makes sense. All right, well, you guys have someone who could potentially open the computer. I don't know if you like it. He might have to work at it all night. A 10 year old's Make amount of computer rolls. science will allow him to decrypt a computer. Damn. We'll see. Computer science specifies you can hack, write and insert malware, access dark web vendors, conduct you know a the FBI? retrieval on a hard drive. <coughs> what? I have a 20%. So it's not high, but I think a if one we, in five chance. If we get the computer out of there, I should be able to take time and just get it, I think. Cat, what are you doing? I think I only have to roll if it's like we're in a pressure situation? Or is that only if it's like high enough? Um so if yeah, if it's high enough you don't have to roll, but you definitely have to roll to decrypt a laptop. Do one Do thing you know? to like to like I don't know. Anywho. Yeah, twenty you know percent success rate. Uh um, anybody at the FBI who'd be able to help it? Or not just screen. Necessarily trust to hack open a computer for me and then not ask any questions or anything like that also you guys are wanted wanted in boston at the very least oh oh yeah right. forgot about that so that kind of burns any bridges i have with it oh. you can access the dark web right you're, you're a hacker you're just gonna have to yeah you're just gonna have to work on it all night until you well, get it cracked murdoch because we ain't got much other options you're right. a hacker off the dark web. Yeah, we yeah. Can try that. payment Bitcoin. Well, he needs to succeed his his role to get a, get to the dark web. Yes, yeah, 2015 is the dark web with the. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I was trying to get on the dark web when I was in like 2009. Just, just for like the thrill. Just for the thrill of it. Just see it? if I could buy a rocket launcher. I think I don't I can't say that. I know someone who did. My old roommate used a bunch of Bitcoin 
buy drugs back when they were like yeah, yeah. <laughs> used to, I'm like man what if you would have kept that you could have made like 50 60 80 grand <laughs> <laughs> instead you bought a bunch of molly yeah i knew i knew a dude who spent he spent 80 bucks on bitcoin to do that and then he was like i don't it feels sketchy ordering drugs <laughs> so then he just had 80 bucks in bitcoin and i don't know what he ever did with it but i'm like well, damn well, probably lost it money. yeah he probably used it on something silly like other drugs eventually yeah when he really wanted like them. less sketchy ones yeah <laughs> a hitman <laughs> an 80 dollar hitman <laughs> Okay. All right. Anywho, what are you what are you guys planning on doing here? Breaking this motherfucker's house. All right. I, how are we going about it? You guys haven't come up with a plan. I'm gonna dive right through his fucking I dining would, room window. I wanna, going in the AT style. <laughs> I wanna. I do wanna come in from above this time. We always just go in the front door. I wanna do something. <laughs> what do you mean coming from above? I don't know. I wanna. Go, I wanna get on the roof. <laughs> Okay. He's come through the chimney yeah. like Santa Claus. It's a house. This is where the heavy machinery comes in. The deal will get us a crate. Yeah. Heal Let's it. get a right over here. Let's get a boom lift. Drop us in. Swing me in the window. Get a wrecking ball. Drop it through the roof. We'll, we'll dive in. <laughs> Make it look like we'll, an axe. We'll rappel down into the. Can hole. we drive? Can Switch we out. drive around the block? Is there any uh, construction nearby? <laughs> On base. Uh, no, let's just go break into this house. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just go walk up to the front door, kick it in like we always. This house is on base, correct? Laptop and yeah. yeah. Oh, it's on base. Yeah, so we gotta get on the base first. It usually requires after September 11th, so there's a uh, ID <laughs> checks at the gate, uh, all kinds of fun stuff. It's not gonna be just walk in. Ah, right. maybe dropping in from a helicopter don't sound so silly after all. <laughs> <laughs> Just get shot down on your way. Right. Well, do you have a helicopter? You got an old non buddy who's got one of those old. Yeah. What did they even fly back then? Helicopters. Yeah. Helibirds. Oh, <laughs> do you still have clearance to get onto a military base? Or sure, none of us do. We're all I wanted. do. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure they forgot. Do we have fake <sighs> IDs? That look at us on. Maybe Word Squash. hasn't gotten to them yet. They I don't remember. Medea has an idea that'll get her on. Will yeah. it work because she's wanted by the police? Who knows? Do we have fake IDs that'll pass? I don't know, do you? I don't know. Yes. I mean, I assume <laughs> 20 years on the lamb, I have some kind of fake IDs. I can hide, what, what don't, what I can don't hide we in leave the this back of the vehicle chance. under a sheet. All right. You do have a Air Force ID. Look at that. All right, so. So now we're getting somewhere. Ooh, do I, or do I just have equipment to print fake IDs? There we go. Whoa, no. He's, he's got a fake ID machine. Yeah. This is only a, he never this shuts is only up about it. 25% chance. Whoa, Nailed you got it. it. I got all the equipment. <laughs> it's, all, it's all back in the safe house. Good thing we you guys heard it here. I, I, I said it. 25% chance. Roll the one. You got it. We were like sitting there talking <laughs> about the IDs. And then I was like, what's under this? And I pulled, looked up a tarp. <laughs> it's a giant ID printer. How will we ever get in? Contact. I have my FBI contacts steal me government equipment to print IDs. Ah, Hell yeah. So, so absurd. But it happened. Oh, fake mine. <laughs> so that's what the I dice are for. I want mine to say, I want to be, be McLovin. McLovin? Just First one. name Mick, last name Lovin? No, it's just one word. McLovin. Gotcha. Okay. McLovin, what's your rank in the Air Force? This one word. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Sergeant. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't want to be too big. Airman? Yeah. Staff sergeant? Specialist? General. Sergeant general. <laughs> Chief master sergeant? We're like combining like army and master chief, and Navy. rear rear admiral. So you can wow. be an airman or a senior airman. 
can be a staff sergeant. Senior right. airman. Mr. Because I'm old. General. So you would be going for the old. You'd be a... Detective airman. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be a senior master sergeant? Yeah. Or a master nice. sergeant? I want the first one. It has more syllables. Master chief. Senior master sergeant. There's a senior master sergeant and there's chief master sergeant. Senior master sergeant. <laughs> That's E8. Whatever. Pretty high. Yeah. Higher rank than I am in the real army. That's me. It's printing now. All right. Printed Mickelob and Senior Master Sergeant. <laughs> I'm from Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're stationed in Hawaii. <laughs> Got it. Story just keeps getting crazier. <laughs> Just flew in today, wanted to see what it's like. What year did Superman come out? <laughs> My first so stop in Boston was at the... the so you're stationed, at Hick you're stationed at Hickam Air Force Base in Hawaii. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Alright, next. Murdoch. What's your alias? <laughs> Call me... I don't know, Murdoch, I guess. <laughs> Do you have a first name, or is everyone just going with one name for their military IDs? Well, this name, my first name is Mur, my second name, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I'll be, uh, oh man, who I, I'll be, uh, Murdoch, uh, Vertas. Okay, what's your rank? Uh, I don't know. You want to be, uh, a major? Sure. You can be an officer. O four. Oh. Uh right. hear printing noises in the background. So be fall. Medea, you Mirror. should like you should like say you're like an office person and then be like, oh what's this? And then fix the machine thing and be like, whoa, and like blow their mind. <laughs> It could be like <laughs> Medea's day back. Do Mira driver, sergeant, brigadier general. Oh, <laughs> seven, huh? You're like in charge of the Air Force? Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> are you questioning like, her? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, by the way? Like, I don't know, like 30 ish. The gentleman yeah, never asks. That's, uh, <laughs> actually impossible to be that rank at that age <laughs> <laughs> i said print it that's right, why print. i was so impressive no. when it happened <laughs> you can be a second lieutenant all right no no captain's more likely captain there you go Last all season. right captain what now type it in the chat and sweet <laughs> what oh hey yeah, what was what your I name? Say? Yeah, I don't remember it. Uh, well, Mira something. Oh. Driver. Yeah. Driver. Mira yeah. Driver. Can the three Captain. be? Can the three be an E? Whoops, I spelled it wrong too. I mean, can the E be a three? No. Yeah, like that. <laughs> 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 Captain right. Drive Okay. Drive free. Uh, I will go as Angela Rodriguez. Alright. Or Angelina Rod. About how old are you? <laughs> it's like the same name. Yep. I, I... What's your age about? Oh, uh, 55. 30. <laughs> 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 55. You can be a major. Uh, okay, that sounds good. I mean, specialist. I do actually know of, uh, some medical stuff might help us pass. Uh... Majors usually serve as squadron or wing level. The responsibilities become more administrative and managerial in flying units. They may serve as a flight commander, a squadron commander, and a non-flying unit. Majors are expected to continue their post-secondary education, usually towards a master's degree or higher. Anyway. Okay, that sounds good. All right, I'm going to be 
I'm gonna be a chief master sergeant. No, I'm not. That's way too high rank. I'll be a first sergeant. And I will go by uh Eric Johnson. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. There we go. Professional. Who's the highest ranking officer then? Um, the major. Okay. Murdoch. <laughs> oh. All right. And then, and then the next second would be uh the captain. All and right. then the senior master sergeant. What was Ange's? Oh yeah, Ange's. Uh, what do we say you were? Captain. Major. A major as well. Yeah. So you guys are the same rank. Okay. Well, I expect you to salute me first, Alex. Okay. <laughs> I'm a senior. <laughs> <laughs> you outrank me. Sounds good. I'll fucking just get salute you and no one else. I'm the lowest rank. rank. No, you gotta low. salute me. Do I salute you? Oh, yeah. rank, not the man. You salute me. <laughs> no. I just walk by you and like. Who's been yeah, Who's been the rank higher longer? I'm a higher question. rank than you. Oh. Loser. Oh, you guys oh, all no. have these. Fake... I spit. I spit on your shirt. <laughs> oh no! Is, it's is happening. <laughs> Yeah, uh, got, it makes sense. You're oh one rank gosh. below major. You're a Listen captain. Listen to me, I'm a senior. I'm going to have to shoot him to restore order in the match. <laughs> <laughs> we all know right, that. Anywho, any after about probably an hour it takes to print all these and get them set up properly. Okay. We all right. right hour passes, uh, and it's late now, 10 o'clock at night. At this point, we should probably got to wait till the morning. Hey, what is there a role to put like makeup on and change my face? <gasps> change but my wait, we like? just printed an ID. No, we can print a new one. It There's a disguise. No, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to like I put would, disguises on. I mean, you could put like prosthetics on and stuff, but you'd have to go get them somewhere. You could oh. just wear like you could put like a hooded sweatshirt on and <laughs> keep your head down and whatnot. Oh, you? but he succeeded I mean, his disguise I role. <laughs> Look but at also, that. I can, give right. you, I can change your haircut. All the males are going to have makeup. Well, he just, said, he just said makeup. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't saying anything. But, like, yeah, so, yeah. like, if there's makeup. contouring If you help. can think of something that's laying around, yeah, I can cut your hair. I want to try, you. too. Yeah, shave me bald. It'll change the whole look. Yeah, I, so yeah. I didn't pass yeah, mine you, though. I, I get, I'm handing out free haircuts. Gabe's bald now. No, no mustache. No hair. Mm, yeah, buzz. I was say, like, all the males have to shave and cut their hair unless they change their IDs to retired. Oh, well, oh. Well, looks like everyone else is cutting their hair too. You fucking pussies. We're I'm gonna be retired. Fuck it. There. Do women, uh... I'm retired. I'm a senior. Or... You can be retired and still get on bases. Yeah, you get a... When you retire, you get IDs. So you can still have access to bases. Wow. Yeah, you'd Do know that if you were retired. Up. You'd all be retired and just make up story over World War II nurse. Well, I already cut your hair. <laughs> 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 all right, fine. <laughs> Yeah, your your head's already shaved. That's, yeah. that's, I already that's disguised you. My beautiful mustache, though, is gone. It's in the toilet. Right. <laughs> all right. So we get all of our disguises and IDs printed out the right way. Good lord, Gabriel! You don't even look like yourself. It's ridiculous. That's what I was going for. Can't be looking. Uh, does Ange speak Spanish? <laughs> This is yes. Sweet. So do I. We get to speak Spanish to each other and not have any of these other idiots listen into our conversations. Hey. I don't. I, too bad I don't actually <laughs> speak Spanish for the RP fun of it, but I don't fucking know. 
Okay, so let's go. All right. Ten at night. No, we gotta go oh, in the morning. Fine, we'll go to sleep. <laughs> I call top Probably bunk. Fucking scary, stupid, idiot dreams. Maybe I won't sleep. Maybe I'll just get like some booze. Hey, we need to be well rested <laughs> tomorrow. I, to I had twenty in Spanish. Yeah, I've got. 50. I don't know why I put so many points in Spanish. Dude, where do you even put points in language? You're going to connect you can, Spanish brothers. You can add like art and language as well. Oh, there this is, skills. yeah. Foreign yeah. languages and other skills. Yeah. Maybe you studied uh, art in Spain. I think art's actually a regular skill on there for whatever reason, isn't it? Yep. It's a separate thing, yeah. My art's fucking. Well. I'm gonna go upstairs and pop some <laughs> 45, pills. Forty-five. You were an bed. art expert. <laughs> Good night, y'all. I know it should be a like eighty. Good night. Good night. Too bad. I shuffle, too shuffle, much shuffle. I'll go back to my room and study more stuff about everything yellow junk and watch my cameras for a while. All right. Go to bed. Uh. I'm snoring really loud. By the way. Well, you don't hear it. Well, I wouldn't hear it because I'm sleeping. Because you're sleeping. How do yeah. you know you're snoring really loud? I'm just for... I'm setting the scene. <laughs> He's got sleep apnea, so he just assumes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, you go to sleep. <laughs> what? Is, what's... What is uh, Angelina doing? Going to sleep too? Yep. Can All right. Back. I'll actually brush my teeth first. How's the breeze up there on your high horse? reading some stuff while you guys are doing what you're doing. Sleeping. I'm sleeping. So I'm sleeping like a motherfucker after I drink some whiskey. Henry, as you're going to sleep before you start snoring for about five, ten minutes, you just feel unnerved like you're being watched from all directions and you begin just this creeping sense of paranoia like yeah, that's Everyone's... just... This is the first step of falling asleep. <laughs> yep. Um, everyone else does their stuff and goes to sleep. You have strange dreams related to, I don't know, plays and strange phenomena as you have been for the last few days. You guys wake up the next morning and we're just gonna kind of fast forward to you guys all driving down the streets in a car towards the uh... <laughs> Gotta get moved along, huh? Yeah. <laughs> towards the place. Now how many guys... of my weapons that I brought with are they gonna allow through the gate? <laughs> And you just look at me and I'm search just the vehicle. strapped. No. <laughs> Are we supposed to be armed? I don't well, know. That's know. What, I guess that's what I'm asking. Do I'm not allowed to bring no. guns. <laughs> oh, okay. Then I Only won't. we'll get through a gate with a weapon. Well, you can't? It's right. not like I'm required to carry a sidearm or something. And the only people that carry a sidearm would be military police. Oh shit, we should have oh, made that okay. our thing. That would have um, been the play. Um, how are you guys in the vehicle? Three of you guys are wanted by law. Uh, one of you guys is wearing a pretty good disguise now. Shaved your head <laughs> entirely, shaved your mustache off. Um, you're wearing a big 
pair of glasses with fake lenses. I think the least wanted should be driving, right? That thing in there that says what the To Ange? Yeah, I, I suppose I'll drive. Yeah. And then I want to sit in the furthest back you see that's not suspicious. In the I'll sit shotgun. part of the vehicle. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Can't you transform into someone? Maybe you could. Too late, probably. I <laughs> just put the cloak on quick in the passenger seat. Yeah, that was a vegetable. Because I, I wouldn't. I totally wouldn't lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So, front seat is uh, Maverick and Angelina. And then you guys are in her nice Mercedes. It's got third row seating. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, And it's the rest of you guys. It's like a black Mercedes, so it seems like a pretty sick whip to pull up to a military base in. Um, I'd be surprised. I am a major. She is a major. Crazy cars on army bases. Yeah, I bet. That's all you got. That's all we got to spend money on. Right. All right, um, you pull up to the base, and there's obviously, like, a guard at the post. There's one of those little gates or whatever. I don't know. Will's got a way better knowledge of Army bases than any of us, but I assume there's a little little barred gate that you guys have to pull up to, and then a guy pushes a button and opens it for you. Usually, depending on the base, yeah. See? I'm all about it. Anywho, uh, you guys pull up. It's like, what's up? Oh, uh, hello. Oh, hey, sorry. I don't know what that was. <laughs> uh, how can I help you guys? Oh, uh, we're just swinging into the base this morning. How's it going? Good. What's what's your business? Training. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, can I see some IDs? How many of the you are in there? Just the four of us. Uh, can I get your identification, fellas? There's five. five of us. And I <laughs> grab the. I reach back for their card. Uh, sorry, I Medea, didn't include my. Medea I didn't drops include down myself. on the floor really fast. <laughs> right, I grab the card and I, I'll hand them over to Ange to hand to the guard. I didn't include myself. Uh, obviously, I'm the fifth. Ah, uh, all right. He looks at him. Looks at you guys. Looks at him again. Looks at you guys. Fails his role. These look great. Here you are. Go on well, in. Get, don't don't miss training. Thanks, sir. Have a good hey, one. Uh, my one of my Aloha. buddies. Aloha. Your buddy. Who's that? Um. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll, I'll I'll ask you later. Uh, I actually we gotta get going. Sorry. Take it out. Oh, okay. Aloha. I, that I means that. goodbye in my like. culture, but it also means hello. <laughs> I forgot I love you already. <laughs> That's why I started laughing. All right, you guys start driving. Um, never did any recon as to where this guy's house is, but yeah. Um, we could Google it, right? I thought yeah. it's. I thought it said the address. I thought we. I, f- I felt. I must have been thinking of a different house. We've Did had we just know the base. We've known so many. Ad- yeah, I feel like we knew the the address. Uh, oh well, I'll I'll say that Sam gave it to you guys. Maybe he didn't. I forgot. I don't think he did. I think he just told you that it would be at his house and they weren't home. But he gave you the address. Just for the sake of moving things along. Because I don't want you to get in here and like fail a roll and just be driving around the <laughs> place for really three hours. hours. I don't know, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, good content. All right. Hey, um, hey, you. Who, me? You know where this dude lives? <laughs> That's eventually what we're doing. We're just like, you know, roll the window down. Have you seen this guy? <laughs> Stop, Ange. That's the guard that we just got lit through. <laughs> okay, sorry. What is okay. the name again? Uh, Captain. 
Corporal. See, see Chester Hamilton. He's a captain. Okay, we're gonna go into Captain Hamilton's house. Right in the front door. Oh, I mean. Wait, do you guys out? Around. Do you guys outrank him? Because then you can yeah. just you can just demand. <laughs> you can just. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your laptop. <laughs> or else. He's not, he's not home currently, right? No. Right. Yeah. We're part of so CID. We're gonna... here to, on investigation. We need to, your laptop for evidence. We're just, just yeah, going exactly. We're just going to walk. We're doing in. that. Is are people like out in their yards looking around, like they might see us just walk in? Uh, I'm really honestly, I would guess that people are mostly at their jobs and whatnot. I mean, I'm, there's probably some families, some like, army wives, some army wives around, but the kids would be at school and whatnot. So I mean, there's really not much going on. Just gonna walk up to it and try and open the door. Uh, they're comfortable on base. The door opens. Sweet. Yeah, these luck rolls are only going your guys' way right I'm now. I'm gonna so walk nice to in with. You. I'm gonna walk in with him. I'm gonna stay outside to keep watch. <coughs> I'm not gonna die. Robot oh boy. I'll Robo keep the car on. Okay. Run in the car. In case something comes. I'm happens. outside keeping watch, just wander around but up and down the sidewalk. So this is kinda kinda the idea of it. You guys pull up. Um Murdoch. Okay. Henry's gone there. Oh well, I said I was No, you're fine. Him. Oh. I just it was like going to throw Gabriel there, but Alex must have clicked on it at the same time and then you flew up right on the spot that I put him on, so it's just really confusing to me. <laughs> I think that is what happened. <laughs> um, all right, you guys are inside, and a little flavor text for you. So you enter Captain Chester's house. You find yourself in a well-lit foyer with light-colored walls adorned with varying photographs of a muscly blonde-haired man, a thin, fit, brown-haired woman, and two small children and many military commendations. The floor is polished hardwood, and a small table near the entrance holds a neatly arranged set of keys, a decorative bowl, and a welcome sign that says in a flourishing script, Welcome to the home of those who proudly serve. Uh, directly in front of you, a cozy living room unfolds, featuring a comfortable sectional sofa and a couple of plush armchairs, a sleek coffee table. Uh, there's a large flat screen on the wall. A bunch of military theme memorabilia and family photos on display nearby and stuck to the walls. That's what you see as you go ahead. All right. The information said it was going to be in his office, his home office, I think. Spread out and find his office. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Split, yeah. Split up. I'm going to yeah. go this way. I tried to grab Murdoch. I'm going to go this way. Okay. Um, I just pulled a random image off the internet, so we had a, a basic map to go off of. Don't take everything for... That's why I just That's why I just went yeah. direction just... rather than like picking a room. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're in the living room area. That's like where the TV was and stuff. Murdoch's in a hall... Uh, there's a bathroom on one end, a little kind of like curve in it, and then you see two doors there, Murdoch. Uh, Sophie, you open a door. And you are in what appears to be a room with a bunch of bookshelves, a large desk, um, a bunch more military memorabilia, and there's just like a small TV mounted to the wall. It looks much like an office. And sitting on the desk is a silver laptop. Oh. Oh. I'm going to go open it. Start, you open it. Start looking it, at Start looking through it. It boots up to... Like well, I don't know, 2015 would that have been like Windows XP, right? Oh. Eight, 
Seven. Ten. Does ten. Probably be ten, yeah. Alright. So that anyway. opens up to Windows 10. Maybe seven. Are there any folders on the desktop? Uh it's it's locked up. It's a login screen. I'm gonna type in password. You just type password in. Yeah. Hit enter. Hit, hit. Incorrect password. Fuck. Uh I'm gonna take the laptop and go back out. Be like, guys, because I think I found it. Oh, thank God. I for Dude. I remembered I forgot what a laptop looks like. <laughs> Do you know the password? No, but we got a Ace computer hacker back. Or Murdoch, right there. <laughs> Give it to Murdoch. <laughs> Murdoch. Uh, well, the password I just have to... Is Did it you try hint? password? Look at the hint. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're on his desk for a lot of ideas. Yeah, what's the hint? Usually it has like a hint button. <laughs> what's the secure. what's the security question? The answer to everything. Forty two. That should really be password. Forty two. Uh, try yellow. Yeah, do try... we know his birthday? <laughs> Oh yeah. Just, uh, just yeah. dig around his desk, see if he's got it written down anywhere. I'm not in there. Yeah. I should shut up. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, true. We aren't in there. Meta doesn't count. Yeah. Get okay. back out. Just kidding. <laughs> you can't say what they suggested. I mean, that is what we need. <laughs> yeah, we no longer can do that. <laughs> yeah. We need to figure out either like his birthday. His the roof collapses need. on that area. Oh, earthquake. I'm going to go look in a bedroom. You walk into a children's bedroom. A little girl's. Decorated in Anna and Elsa memorabilia. And How do parents keep track of their kids' dates and shit? There ain't no calendar in here or nothing. <laughs> Uh, I like the spitting in my mouth. <laughs> I don't see like any like corny little picture, baby pictures with like the year they were born or anything sitting around. Nope. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go in the other bedroom. Look for a scrapbook. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, the other bedroom is definitely another child's bedroom. It's another girl's bedroom. It looks, uh. Pretty similar, actually. This one's got like a carriage bed in it. And stuffed animals lying around and a white dresser. This dude's a freak. Bubblegum pink walls. This dude's a sort of sicko. Pretends to be a little girl in his off time. No, he's got kids in the picture. <laughs> uh, well, then which room's his room? Oh, that room we can't go in. Shit. You guys can go in there. I'm just kidding. I think it's... I mean, it's a rummage around in there and see if we can find anything. Otherwise, I will try... Um... Well, I guess let's search the room first and see if we can find something. Make me a search roll. What are you looking for? Like any sort of like thing marked like passwords, any like safe, um, anything like that. You open up uh, a dresser, make me a sanity roll. Oh, not a dresser, but a drawer. That's what I meant to say. I should have figured. And I fail. Uh, and... uh, you take one point of sanity damage. Um, and you open it up, and there's just a black book in the desk that, in flourishing script, said passwords on it. I want to go, 
I'm gonna go wander into the garage and I wanna look for a gun. <laughs> I'd just look in the office, that's where I'd keep mine. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but I wanted to go to a different room. I, wanted, I didn't want to go back to the master bedroom. Um, yeah, I'm you notice that, Henry, as you came to this base, you know, there was like these yellow auras around you guys. You haven't really seen any of that except for with that laptop. And you come in here and you're looking for a gun. Yeah. What is this? There's a little gun for you. Maybe like maybe he's got like a a, a car gun left at home. Today. A car gun. Well, I guess make a a luck roll. Can you have firearms in your home base? Oh yeah. Okay. Dang. He he doesn't have a car gun. Dang it. Darn it. It'll have to be registered and shit though. Okay. With the base. So I did right. find a book of passwords. Yeah, it was really like not well hidden or anything. It's just a black book that says passwords on the cover of it. I made a sage. I had to make a sage roll for that. I guess I'll open it. What's inside? Do I see passwords? Better about the one point of standing damage. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a Quite there's neat. a list of different passwords on the page. Okay. Uh, um, any hints on which where they what they belong to, or is it just random passwords? Uh, if you take a little bit of time, you can look through and figure out what everything is in there for sure. What's you guys' yeah. plan? Are you gonna do everything in this house while you're on the space? What do? No, I'm going to take this uh, book and, and this laptop and we're going to get out of here. I'm going to be like, uh, Matia, uh, Vertas, I got what we needed. Let's go. I'm going to run. I don't know Quick. Vertas. I'm McLovin. Well, whatever, McLovin, hurry up. <laughs> and we'll just hurriedly get out. You're on. Oh, did you guys grab a charger? Yeah. Yes, I would have grabbed the I charger. I was going to say something about that, too. <laughs> I would have grabbed it. Okay. I got the charger. I didn't know which one, so I just grabbed a bunch. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> all this stuff in the And an alarm chargers. clock. I don't even know how to use a computer, but I, I found all these cards. I just everything in the outlet. Let's go. All right. Uh, I did some rolls in confidence there, and you guys succeeded at all of them, or they failed, which, whichever way you look at it. So you guys take off and head back towards the exit it's been about an hour or so of you guys going around and you pull up to the gatehouse we talk to him when we leave too now nah, nah, you just drive out okay and you just drive out pull out onto the road we did it boys and and that was pretty easy. Master Strange. Too easy. Too easy indeed. Um, Good thing we printed off fake passcodes instead of trying to break in here. <laughs> it could yeah. have been a lot worse. <laughs> I'm going to be right back and take. I'm taking a car nap. Bio break? I'll get to bed. Oh. Uh, One second. All right. Perfect. Ad break in progress. Couldn't have been timed any better. Nice.
Yeah, I'm just I'm just uh working on stuff that I forgot I should do. I'm awake. I have arisen. Hey. It's time for my cook. It's my daily cookie time. Otherwise, I get grouchy. sound pretty grouchy over there. I don't know. <clears throat> Little rascals. Oof. So what I missed? Did we crack the case wide open? Yeah, Just we did. Driving. Yeah, yeah we're going driving, home. driving, driving, and you guys make it back to the safe house. I feel so safe. All right, well, let's go get this thing unlocked. Yeah, get to computing, Murdoch. Okay. Type it in. I'll read the password book. Now that we're in the safe house. Uh, you, you browse through it and you see that the password is the king comes. Uh-oh. Okay. Creepy. I guess I'll be the one who types it in. Except this creepy computer that will no doubt hurt my sanity. You're the only one what knows how to use it. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. I type in the password. Uh, oh, it loads up his desktop. And there's... Uh, hmm. 11 different files sitting on the desktop. He doesn't have any, sh but he's got a, a couple shortcuts on it for games and some other files and photos and stuff. But this, this is what the files are on his desktop. Clash of Clans. Clan uh, drops and son of Sam. So what was our reason for getting this laptop again? Uh, We're we, supposed to look at a list of... Oh, a guy. Oh, yeah. The third letter of the name of every file on the desktop. So one, two, A, M, A, W, A, E, N, O, W. I can't see it. Yeah. I typed it on the I think, I think it's that. I think that's the pool of letters anyway. I'm a wana. Oh, it's Hawaiian. <laughs> <laughs> you guys forgot two because they're right next to my name. For whatever reason, you guys were oh. reading oh. one down each time. <laughs> oh, oh, it's funny, right. it's funny that I... every single one of you guys did it. Yeah. <laughs> There's an I and a K also. Oh. Oh, what? I am awake now. Oh, yep. yeah. 
I didn't send the ones that had his name on them. I didn't read. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes a little more sense now, huh? I'm a whack now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's awake. You guys are all standing over his shoulders while he's doing all this and typing it out, and you guys see this. And anyone looking, roll me a sanity roll. We didn't really go over who was doing it, but it seems like most of you guys are. I was. No, I wasn't. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was over in the corner. Uh, I'm okay really good over there. I'm okay Looking in the corner. Nice. Take one point of sanity damage. You take Gary. one point of sanity damage. One point, one point. But not over, Toss. Game is rigged. This game is rigged. I quit. I don't think I passed a single sanity check yet. You can't quit. You're fired. Did you guys see what I did to Murdoch? Fire me, I quit. What'd you do? Oh. <laughs> Oops. What happened? Am I looking? I made him Nothing. bald. Nothing. Oh, did you? Made him bald? Oh, <laughs> I see the picture. Oh, oh my god. Someone moved him. Oh, yeah. He's hideous. What do you mean? It's beautiful. The <laughs> he looks so good. Uh, anywho, yeah, that's what you guys found. And then an instant later, there's a doo, doo, doo at the door. I go peek at the camera quick. Uh, you, you walk and peek at the camera, and you see people coming and going down the street. It's, I don't know. 10, 11 o'clock, you see a person walking away from the front steps, so you can't make them out there in, like, a sweatshirt and jeans. There's, like, a package or something sitting on the ground in front of the door? Just a letter sitting on the ground. Alright, so I'll go out and grab it quick. Alright. And I'll look down the road to see if I can see anything. You don't see nothing. Alright, I tried, and then I'll walk back in and lock the door. Alright. And I'll Bring the letter in. Is it addressed to anybody, or what does it say uh, as I'm walking? We got uh, mail. It's blank. So I'll just I'll open it. Book. As I'm walking. We got mail. Them. Never fails. Uh, make an alertness as you're walking back in. Hell yeah. Nice. Um. Andrew, about, are you muted? About 400 meters down the road, you just feel like someone looking at you. And you see Turn a figure back. wearing an elaborate army green face mask. Uh, he just stands down the street, kind of like on the opposite side of a vehicle. And he seems to be just peering over the car at you. And then you notice him and he just kind of like turns his attention another way I'll take out my uh, phone and try to zoom in and take a picture if I can but I don't remember how good phone cameras were on phones back in 2015 probably not very good they're, um, they're okay it was still an iPhone he's 400 meters away so I mean he's like yeah, oh, you can see shit nothing yeah, you take a, I'd get a silhouette. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's just like this strange pixelated image of some sort of thing standing behind a car. At least maybe I can tell the car if the car belongs to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and I'll then I'll walk in, opening the letter, and I lock the door behind. Walk back to the group. I will uh, read the letter to everybody. What's his... Give me a second. Hello again, agents. Friday, September 11th, a private jet will be waiting for you at Minuteman Airfield in Stowe. Uh, what the fuck? Massachusetts. Okay, MA 
Oh, still Massachusetts got it for the takeoff time of ZPM. Just kidding. Too. The plane will take you to <laughs> Tetero Airport. And the plane will be a duffel bag with clothes and four VIP passes for that evening's concert. You are to change into the clothes aboard the plane and charge the stage of Madison Square Garden shortly after Taylor Swift takes stage and say the following into the microphone uninterrupted. <laughs> Who is the hand that makes the world and steady is the mind that grasps it? Turn your backs to the crowd, hands interlaced above your heads. Do not resist when arrested. P.S. Now that you've proven yourself trustworthy again, agents, if you're interested in helping me find my bottle, that, okay, I'm willing to help you again. Oh, is that his Jiju whatever? <laughs> no, your Jiju is different. Jiju. <laughs> Alright. G slap crossed out Mr. Wild. Finding your bottle is different than I don't wanna get arrested. I don't either. That doesn't sound that What sounds... other choices do we have? Not getting arrested. I mean, but what other leads do we have going forward? <laughs> There's none. We burned down the only place that could have been an alternate <laughs> right. reality. I feel like we don't have much of a choice here. Plus, we owe this fucking guy for helping us last time. What I'm scared is if we... I don't know shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, right. But I'll still do it. I need, to find my, I need to find my son. If he, there's any chance of this helping that, I'm all in. Yeah, he can get us to Carcosa. What's the price? Getting arrested, it looks like. All right, let's go. Let's All go. right, so let's what's go. today's Plus date? T Swift concert stage. Yeah, yeah right. I'm, I'm pretty pumped, pumped for that. Can I get, can I give her a hug first? Yeah, can we watch like <laughs> we? Can it be later in the concert that we charge yeah. the stage? Wait, I've been watching it for a while. <laughs> you guys got VIP passes, baby. Yeah, we we'll backstage. <laughs> Free T Swift concert. This feels I mean, kind of like the opposite of what we're supposed to. What do you mean? Shut we're up. Gonna, we're gonna be we got a blend in. You love Taylor Swift. You're not gonna stop her from seeing her. <laughs> we're supposed to green. We're supposed to be eradicating all the evidence of this shit and the existence of it, and then now we're gonna go on a stage in front of the whole world and try to curse everyone. Delta Green's not even real, Vertas. Shit. Can you pop that letter up again for me? That still it's doesn't... All... Still, we're gonna be cursing, like, all sorts of people. What do you mean? Yeah. Pop it onto another window. This I get where he's just, going with this it. This is he's... just more of yellow sound this bullshit. Seems to, this seems to be some sort of signal to spread the disease that you've described people happening. Yeah, this is just gonna lead to more no good, but on a big scale. Like a truck scale. Well, I guess I honestly don't really care because I just want to get into <laughs> Parcosa again. Right, well, so what's today's date? Uh oh, we lost one. Yeah, left. It's easy to close it. No. <laughs> Um, as they're saying this, you're starting to question it. If they're the enemy, it seems like it seems like they're not working for Delta Green at all. You were in it. You did it. You saw zombies. You saw a giant dominatrix. You stopped it. Oh, I guess you know what I did. S and M shit or this one. But again, nope. what is today's date? Uh, seventh. So we got I guess four, four days. days. Veritas, are you willing to give up the people closest to you? I mean, he's already got my daughter basically like, this tied is up. Telling us to get my son willingly get ourselves arrested when we're already wanted. This is that's giving up everything anyway. Maybe this will clear our names. Yeah, but maybe yeah, in 25 years, 25 to life. 
What's another 20 years? <laughs> I'll be dead. That's what it is. <laughs> I hear the healthcare is really good in prison. <clears throat> You know, I think it might be best for me to get arrested so that I don't. Well, there's get only four tickets. Isabella tied up in this anymore. Oh, there only is four. Is that a mistake? Yeah, scratch that. It's supposed to be five. I really yeah, don't so remember that. We have a hard time <laughs> counting in this group. <laughs> there's four in the vehicle, four tickets. You're not used <laughs> to me being here anymore. That's true. True. It has been four forever. Um. Well, I don't. I, for one, am not just going to get arrested for some person I've never met. Me neither. Get arrested for a Taylor Swift concert. I want to go to the concert, <laughs> but I don't want to get arrested. Well, what if we go to the concert, <laughs> use the VIP passes, but we say something different into the microphone, and we just enjoy the show? Or wait, we oh. don't do that because that that will get us arrested. Huh? <laughs> yeah, just not say anything into the Probably microphone. Just, yeah, we're all wanted for murder. How about we just agree to go to the concert, use the VIP pass, and we'll play by ear when we get there. Yeah. Well, yeah and we'll I change guess. our clothes in the duffel bag and do everything up until the getting arrested part and make the decision on the spot. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. This is the... Compromise. This is a big ask. I told you guys it was just going to get crazier. How are we going to get there? So we're going to have to drive. We got a jet. Well, we got a plane. We got a plane. We're in the Mercedes. Double Massachusetts. We're in Boston. It's probably not far. Oh, yeah. We got to get to Massachusetts. Boston's in Massachusetts. We'll take uh, Angie's Mercedes. All right, so what are we doing? Tony, until... what, yeah, what are we doing for the next four <laughs> days? Well, do we break oh. back into the army base and put the laptop in passwords back? <laughs> Sorry, we actually walked out with this. Not quite sure how it ended up in our possession. No, I mean, so turn it, in, turn it into the gate. Like we found this on the side of the road. I don't know. He's like comp compromised, anyways. I mean, he's not gonna. Yeah, he's a bad dude. He. He's, he's not gonna. He's, got ties to the Yellow King. He's in the yeah, he's, he's, stuff. Yeah. Exactly. He's not gonna bother trying to like uh, report it because oh. it's a fucking Yellow King computer. And I haven't told you guys yet, but I did see some figure in a military mask down the road when I grabbed this letter. Ah oh, shit! What the fuck? And that reminds me, Christ. we're getting hunted. Remember? Is he seen? He's seen little de creepy demons on the. Night cams the other night. And polygonal c clown things coming up so to the we, door. We, yeah. I don't know if we should stay in the same place too many nights in a row. Um, maybe, maybe we should go find a hotel yeah, in Stowe. Like on the way, part way there, make a road trip out of it. Um, I, I was thinking something else too, but oh, maybe we can also try to find a, another, um, like spooky interdimensional rift. Between now and then. Go Looks like it's only a 40 minute drive. It's like we found that bookshop, that bookstore on accident, remember? I do. Find something go back there. there and just find something weird. It's only a 40 minute drive <laughs> to stay. Like, it seems like we look like every third closet we look in <laughs> is <laughs> interdimensional at this point. 40, 40 minute drive, we take I 90 to get to so. Well, maybe there's a rip in the space-time continuum and more gates are opening. Maybe it's in wherever we get arrested. He did say he'd help if we got arrested. Yeah. No, not, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that makes me feel much better. <laughs> and they're watching us. We just throw ourselves in prison and they're just watching from the crowd, just laughing as we <laughs> <laughs> suckers. Yeah, it seems like tying up a loose end. Yeah. But what loose end? Us. Us. <laughs> but doesn't he want our help finding his bottle? <laughs> Maybe our usefulness is kind of hit the end. 
but we haven't helped him do anything besides decrypt I am now awake. And we haven't even told him that information yet. It's a good point. You guys are oh, talking and you hear a doorbell ding dong. I'll, go, I'll quick get up and go look at the cameras again, see what I see. Uh, there's just a man in like a, a courier outfit. He's got like a little hat on and he's just holding a envelope in his hand or like a large folio actually. All right, I'll go to the door again and with uh, my hand on the small of my back on a pistol and open the door. Uh, uh, hello, sir. Um, I got a delivery for you. Yeah, just a delivery. I was told to bring this here. All right. I... Who's it from? Uh, they didn't say. Just came in, paid, and told me to deliver it to this address. Okay. I'll take it from him. It's like, I don't know, quarter inch thick with papers, maybe less, eighth inch somewhere in there. But it's like pretty pretty hefty and um he just like all right have a good day sir you too shut the door walk back well i'll walk back in well we got more stuff i don't know what it is should we sit down and look at it as long yeah. as it ain't a book and i'll plop on the couch in between people or i don't know how the seating is going and throw it on the coffee table and starts it up and spreading it out. Who's all sitting there? Me. I'm sitting. All right. Sandy checks. Yep. I'm gonna hear the commotion come over. You spread yeah, them we all were out. Making quite the commotion. And sitting on the table in front of you is a bunch of blueprints of the hotel brought Alvin. Each is marked A. Darabondi in handwriting in the corner, and it is showing like renovations and alterations to the building that are going to be made. Wait, is Hotel Brown Alban a prison? Uh, the Delta floor plan Delta just Delta seems. Delta. The floor plan just seems to show a pretty elaborate Generic. hotel. Oh. But no street information or oh. geological. Just blueprints just shows the floor layout and everything of each level. There's like a large, you know, large entrance area, and, you know, all the floors going up and a basement and this and that, all the things you'd see in blueprints, but they are marked A. Darabondi. Well, great. Now we're Let's wanted criminals and we got made up blueprints for your made up hotel, Murdoch. Then I, and then I'm gonna stomp my foot. I'm starting to think that m the other half of my brain was right, and maybe you guys is the bad guys in all of this. All right, McLovin, settle down. <laughs> Wait, why? Because you saw these blueprints? Because none of this is adding up, and you just want to spread the yellow sign everywhere you go. Why? Well. Cursing everyone, oh, you want to go on? <laughs> you want to go on Taylor <laughs> Swift? <laughs> yeah, he's kind of right. I love how quickly he crumbled too. Just well, not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now even this hotel don't even exist, and now what, what good is that, what good is these no exist blueprints? What do you Maybe think? you can find clues somewhere with him. Yeah. Here, they I've may come in handy in the future if we actually find this place. I've renovated my house quite often. I'm pretty good at looking at architectural plans. Let me take a peek. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly are you looking for? An okay, address. So, <laughs> so <I have> a, <laughs> maybe a year when the boot a main floor, made. top floor, basement floor, but on the first page will be the cover page. On that page, there might be an address. Is there any uh, like creation date on there like <laughs> when these blueprints were made? Uh, there. Uh, 
stamped. Let's see. They are dated. Nineteen forty eight. Eight. So, could we go to the oh, wow. Google machine, try to like look up permits and shit for hotels that were going under renovation or built in large cities during that time? Sure. Uh, make me a computer science roll. <laughs> I get this. I have a two percent chance. Bumble. Oh, the computer. Hey, right. I can check it though. I I suck at this. Anybody else want to try? <laughs> I think I'm really any better. I was mostly uh, just messing around. You, yeah, you it look, was zero. you look, um, and I mean, you pull up records, but you don't see anything related to Hotel Broad Alvin. There's a few hotels in New York that were renovated in that time, but they don't seem to have any. Nothing that, matches. nothing that, yeah, nothing that an Asadera Bondi worked on or anything like that. Yeah, Plus, aren't. he was going under a different name, but there doesn't. There's no like meaningful clue that would hint you that Asa Darabondi was a part of it. Worth a try. Yep. Not a bad idea. Well, I don't want to do the Taylor Swift concert, huh, Veritas? So, what should we do? And how do I keep my kids safe? Right, I want to do it because I need to find my son. Fine, we can do it, but this better not suck. Well, it's probably going to suck. Or else. <laughs> or else what? <laughs> yeah, You'll what are you going to do? You'll find out <laughs> if it sucks. All right, McLovin. Is it a bad thing? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't tell. Shit. All right. So, what are we we were gonna find a hotel on the way there? It's only a forty minute drive. Do we want to get out of this place? And well, if it's only a forty minute drive, we should. Just hang out around here, I guess, because we have a few days. Remember? Right. Were we worried about? Yeah, well, I'm worried under about attack. getting hunted. Yeah, let's find That's some spookies. I would Except get. We uh, do have better security here than we'd have at a hotel. I would guess one more night True. would be okay here, but then we should probably stay somewhere else the next night or two. Murdoch may or may or may may not have forgot, but he made plans with his daughter to meet for dinner at a diner at 7 o'clock. Oh. <laughs> Probably do that. We're never going to make the concert at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. We can't have anything. Oh, you can warn her about... Rock? What, what, what? Did you not hear that? No, why? Sorry. <laughs> uh, you made plans to meet your daughter tonight at 7. Oh, sh. Well, I'll go. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> what are you guys going to do she... while he goes to meet? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, I'm going to go with. I was going to tell her, tell him to invite her to the Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to go with and say that I'm his new uh, <laughs> girlfriend and we're going to the Taylor Swift concert on Friday. Yeah, VIP on... passes. <laughs> no, don't do that. You're not welcome. <laughs> 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 Maybe really awkward when he invites her to the concert. Like, uh, I 
I don't really think she should go. <laughs> thought this was gonna, just a you and me kind of thing. I'm gonna follow him anyway. You don't have enough VIP for her though. You have to buy her own. Don't come sure. to the concert. I'm I'm gonna go over all the <laughs> clues and try to get myself caught up on whatever the hell they've been up to the last twenty five years. Okay. Um I will work with Ange on that too. Yeah. Help. She can dig through my information I got in my safe room. Okay. See if she can bring a new perspective to anything that I have. Oh. Yeah, and show them all the shit that they found. Mm hmm. Because I'm out of the loop on a lot of their stuff. For sure. Like... All right. Murdoch, it's. it's... 6.30, you head out, you go to, uh, I don't know, popular diner in Boston. It's, you know, just one of those little 50s diners kind of feel. It's got the checkerboard linoleum floor and the little booths all over, and the little spinny black seats and whatnot. Yeah. A long bar that goes around it where people get their pancakes and stuff. Uh, anywho, she's she's sitting at a booth that kind of waves at you. Hey, glad to see you. Uh, same to you. Let's say it's a sit down. Um, I guess how's it been going? Uh, good. How'd you end up working for this place? I. That you were for just happened to get a a job here uh as as you're looking at her it's been a long time since you've seen her i mean you saw her a couple days ago um this person is clearly not her oh same build same ethnicity same age same clothing same mannerisms um She's answering all your questions as you feel she would. Uh, but you can't pinpoint exactly what is wrong with them, but you're, you're pretty certain this isn't your daughter standing in front of you. Um, well, should we get out of here? You want to go somewhere? I do. Sure, yeah, I, that'd be great. What do you want to what do you want to do? Um let's see I drove here, didn't I? Yeah. I don't know if I should drive. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. You got a really good disguise on. She probably didn't recognize you at first. I forgot that you shaved your head and your mustache off. This is game changing stuff. <laughs> do I did I bring my gun with me? I probably would have. Maybe one on your back, like Maverick carries around, so that you don't just have a gun hanging out in the open. Concealed oh, yeah. carry? You can conceal yeah. them pretty good these days. Yeah. Yeah, definitely strapped, for sure. Because I'm wanted <laughs> for murder, so I'd want to be able to go down swinging in case I got recognized. <laughs> that makes uh, sense. i carrying my Glock 21. <laughs> um... <laughs> Make a human roll as she's talking to you. Like you're you're running all this stuff through your head and you guys are getting ready to go somewhere and you're getting stuff and she's just like, Yeah, it's so good to see you, Dad. It's it's been such a long time since we actually gotta sit down and talk. I'm glad you're here. Make me yeah, a human. Sorry, I've been so distant, you know. I've just been so busy with stuff. Human, that's one of my good roles. You know, FBI things and regular things. Hey, say have you seen the news lately? Sixty one. Uh, 61 success um you feel i i mean you know it's as if this person's just reciting lines from a script and she's like no i haven't seen the news lately i've just i've been working really hard at that new job at uh at the law office and make me a sanity roll as you realize that she's just reciting information to you she's been like she's been vague about exactly what she says, but everything is relative to her life. She's just yeah. never like 
Oh, look at that. One point. I didn't get this feeling when I saw her last time, or right? or On the phone you did, I think. No, you didn't get it last time, but you haven't seen her for a few days now, or a day or, or two. No, just Isn't there day. something on the phone where you're two days. Two days. voices in the background? Uh, no, that, that was Ange. That was Ange. Ah. Uh, okay. Bad. Yeah, let's just go Same for thing, a walk, though. you know? Okay. Park. Sure. This hasn't been happening before. Uh, it's 8.30, 9 o'clock now. It's dark out. You guys are walking under street lights, and she's just continuing to talk to you. I'll like, like bring I'll bring up like a super specific memory from her childhood on like a specific day. Uh, like what did I we do? To, yeah, do you remember like like uh, bring up like training her, uh, showing you how to ride a bike, and then I don't know, you fell off and knocked a tooth out. Mm. Yeah, I like did that. do that. You're right. Or like ask her what she got for her 16th birthday. You remember that? Was, that? that was so crazy. I can't believe I fell and knocked my tooth out off my bike like that. That was then the next oh to, oh to be a kid again. The next part, I'll just make up like a lie and be like, oh yeah, and then we uh, went and got you ice cream afterwards. <laughs> I'm I'm you're such a good dad. I'm so glad we got to go do that. That was ah yes. My so, <laughs> fucking suspicions are confirmed. Okay, so as we're wandering, I'm gonna wait till we're like in a place where there's not any people around us. Okay, you guys, you guys wander and wander. You bring her to like a little, a little park, and it's nighttime. Uh, you you see like a couple people on the outskirts of it. You guys are walking. You're like, yeah, let's just go for a little walk through the park. I'll I'll walk you home. Blah blah. blah. I'm gonna yeah. like grab her and pull my gun and draw my gun on her and be like, what the? F I know you're fucking not Angie. You son of a bitch. Who are you? What do you want? Put my gun up to her. You're right, I'm not Angie, I'm Isabella, I'm your daughter. Please don't put guns That's to my head, I, Dad. I, <laughs> <laughs> I said, Isabella. It's I it's me your daughter, I swear. I'm I'm her. I don't know. Oh, you're 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 losing it, Dad. You don't even remember what I look like anymore. Uh <laughs> Me. No, it is. You're the one that left me. Fuck off. Uh, all those memories we were talking about were made up. I know you're not fucking who you said you are. I don't, don't make me kill you. Tell me what the fuck. What do you want? Who are you? Get your hands off me, Dad. Just get off me. She starts thrashing around in your arms. Starts yelling, Help! Oh, shit. I'm a basher in the head of my gun. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Roll armed, and she's going to roll... I guess it's a shooter instead. Okay, this is your decision. You make it now. Uh, Clock's ticking. Nine. Eight. Well, I seven, my... I'm firing. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Gun to her head. She's thrashing around trying to go. Poof. Goes limp in your arms. Shit. Kill the demon. Um, you set her down on the ground and there is a street light nearby and you look at her closely and laying on the ground is your daughter's body. Uh, well, I'm going to try and pull her face off. <laughs> For only a sanity check as you start ripping at her face with your not hand. Like like your skin, just seeing if it's the mask that. Yeah, I, I can understand what you're saying, <laughs> but I, that's in some way, shape, or form, you're ripping at her face. Oh. Well, failed. <laughs> uh, um, that's you, my breaking point. You take eight points of sanity damage as you're tearing at her face after you shot her in your head. You're like, fucking mask! Where's the fucking mask? And there is no mask, and it's your daughter laying there in front of her, and you just shot her in the head. Well. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> where we'll call it tonight. Oops. <laughs> Oops. 
Well, I was convinced it wasn't her, to be fair. No regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Holy I mean, moly. you still don't know for sure, right? Oh, definitely don't know for sure, dude. Could be anything. Probably not even her. Do you have any yeah. problems left? Nope, not if that's actually her that died. <laughs> like, metalized? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's all down here for, for the odds <laughs> together, guys. <laughs> Can't project because I just murdered the person I would be projecting on. Oh. Well, dang. 